You're still here? Uh, yeah, Stone Cold is naturally craving updates on this little bundle, so thusly I remain. How is the baby? Uh, he seems okay. Uh, but according to Nurse Epiphany, he might not be for long unless he's sent home to bond with his family. Yeah, well, look, he won't hear that, so he wants Elizabeth to wake up and have the baby here, so we need to make this as homey of an experience as possible for the baby. Ah, with black leather onesies and a chrome No, crib. the child is a Spencer, Spinelli. So the Spencers are going to rally, and we're going to take turns holding the baby and telling him stories about the family that he's been born into. <sighs> Light of my life, you know I hate disagreeing with you. But come on. The person that should be holding the baby right now is the real father. No, Spinelli, that boat sailed a long time ago. Don't worry, I will... Tell Jason all the reasons why the baby's going to be okay with us. What's wrong? I just realized how terrified I am. I gave you my word that I would do what's, what's best for our child. don't know when or if you're, you're gonna wake up and I don't wanna I don't wanna believe that you're dying and I don't wanna do or say something that's gonna ruin what you have lucky but They're telling me our son needs to go home. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Uh, well, you, you said you were terrified. No, that's that's not it. Not exactly. I just... I've just scared myself with all the ways that I'm feeling. I don't regret terminating the pregnancy. I know that it was the right decision for me, but now seeing Elizabeth's baby and knowing that she made the other choice and this child is here now in the world, I just, I don't know, it makes me feel shallow and empty. Maybe, um, maybe you're, maybe you're seeing the, you're seeing the small stone cold one as a, as a symbol and, and, and not actually a, a real person, you know? What do you mean? Well, Try to take what, try to take what happened to you out of the equation, you know, and you just, just think of him as this little, this little creature that, that needs to get to know you, that, um, that wants to feel your awesome love. Jackal begs permission to accompany the, the fair blonde one on her visit to the awesome baby known as Spencer. And they say too much time on the computer doesn't cause brain damage. Okay, with all due respect to your formidable security instincts, look, I... Look, stop talking. I don't want to hear your mouth running. I don't want to look on the visitors list and see your name forged there again. I will allow you to accompany Miss Spencer while she visits her nephew, but Our if you... deepest gratitude. <laughs> stop talking. Or you can leave. Okay. Come on in. Yeah. Green small stone cold one. Ah, you have a very special visitor. Yeah. Uh, she's she's supposed to be your aunt, but Okay, don't listen to Spinelli. He likes me, means well, but he tends to talk too much. Look at Lou in person. 
perfect you are. Yeah. It doesn't matter how you label it. I'm in your life now. And I love you. Mm. And that's all that matters. <laughs> Our son needs you. You know, all this time, all these weeks and months, the only thing that ever made any sense to me was that no matter what else happened, our, our child would have you. So please, Elizabeth. Please, you have to wake up, please. Jason? Did you get here? No, I was just, you know, checking on Elizabeth and the baby. And, uh, you know, the nurses are saying that the baby shouldn't stay in the nursery. With all due respect, that's none of your business. You know, Lucky, it is my obligation to act in the baby's best interests. <laughs>